Hi everybody, I'm about to give you the absolute masterclass of how to get started with the Jira Cloud REST APIs. All you have to do is just watch till the end and you'll understand all of the different APIs such as how to create a project, how to create an issue in that project, how to list all the users within your account, how to list all the projects, how to get an issue by ID, how to get and transition an issue from uh, in review to done, and all of these awesome API features. All of this code is online. You just gotta watch till the end and uh, you'll understand all these intricacies. So before we get started into the code, I'm gonna show you what the finished project looks like. So give me two seconds and let's show you exactly what we're gonna do. So in this .m file, I'm gonna configure to create this project called Jira Demo and the project name is gonna be Jira Demo YouTube, and we'll add seven as lucky number seven here just to make sure this all looks good. We have my API key here, my Atlassian username, and if I go to app.js, I have this function, create project issue and update, that will do exactly what I want, um, which is create a project, create an issue in that project, and uh, I'll show you that in action now. So let's go ahead and try it out. We'll call node app.js, Awesome, so you can see here, we created this project uh, with the key Jira Demo 7, and then created an issue in that project, and you can see 204 as in we updated that issue. So let's go ahead and show you that. There we go. So here is the project. Let's go to view all projects now. We'll refresh the page, and here is the Jira YouTube Demo 7 that I just created by lucky number. And then here is the actual issue that we created here and it is marked as done. Awesome, so this is exactly um, one part of the project, but there's so many other parts. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I'll show you exactly how to configure your app and set the environmental variables, how to get your API key, all that stuff right now. So let's go ahead and get into it and you'll see just how easy it is to uh, use this uh, free open source project to uh, create projects, create issues, and move those issues around automatically with these APIs. So first things first, uh, this is the uh, Jira Cloud REST API tutorial. We're gonna actually go ahead and clone the project. And you'll see that there's instructions here, like clone the repo, install dependencies, add environmental variables, and I'll go through these step by step so you understand what's going on. So first things first, I'm gonna CD and make a new directory called YouTube Jira. I'll go into that, YouTube Jira, and then I will go ahead. Wow, it's really raining hard outside. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get clone. So we're going into that. Now we have this uh, YouTube Jira, and this is the sample.m. So first thing first, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go into it and then run npm install. Looks good, we npm installed it. I'm gonna make sure to close all the other files to not get confused. So here is my Atlassian username. Uh, make sure to change that for yours. Let me show you now how to get the API key. Um, so, okay, so here is my actual profile. I'm gonna click on my account, click on manage account. I'll go into here. I'll go ahead and click on security and then create and manage API tokens. I will create an API token. Uh, YouTube demo two, because I've done this a couple times now. I'm gonna copy this one, gonna go back into my VS code, add in my API key right here, save it. And that looks good. So um, let's go ahead and name the project uh, Figma two, and then the project name Figma mock two. That looks good. We're gonna have to rename this file to just .env and then we're gonna save it. And now we're gonna do source.env to make sure that these the changes in the file are applied. So let's do a really simple uh, API call now, which is gonna be just, uh, we don't want this. We just want to get all the issues. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I run node app.js, we're gonna be able to get all the issues. So you could say Figma one, you know, Jira demo, uh, that's what we have so far. Awesome, looks good to me. So that's an easy one. 
let me show you now the get users function. So this is really important. Actually, to create a project, we need to have the lead account ID to assign that project into a user. So let's go ahead and run this API call and I'll show you this function. It's just gonna call this get users function. This is on a different um, file called get users and all it's gonna do is gonna use this URL uh, with your domain that has to be linked to your account. It's gonna go rest API to slash users, just gonna make a simple get request and log the data. So let's show you that in action. So node app.js, here are all the users. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. And here is my account type of Atlassian and that is my name. And here's the account ID here. Awesome, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna, there we go. Go back to my file. And what we wanna do is go back into the .env and go ahead and add this lead account ID. Again, your domain is just gonna be that first part of your account. So mine for me is horiparutsu.atlassian.com. So that domain is just horiparutsu. Great, so we are all configured now. So let's go back into app.js. We've seen the get users function. Now let's go ahead and do the create project issue and update, which is what we wanted before. So, um, Let's go ahead and look at that quick function. That's gonna create project using this file, create project, which is just gonna use the lead account ID as we talked before, which is in that environmental variable. And it's going to make a post request to the slash project endpoint. Sorry if I'm going too fast, I wanna make sure we cover all this and not take up too much of your time. Feel free to skip around too. So we're gonna create a project. And here is the issue type. So I've just kind of hard coded this, but again, you can make this more scalable. Just clone the project and do what you want to do. So the summary is going to be, uh, so this is the summary, uh, do so now. Uh, and then we're going to create that task. And then we're going to show you actually what's really interesting about Jira Cloud is that sometimes it changes the status ID. A lot of times 21 is in progress, but sometimes it changes. So I'll show you. Um, exactly how to do this. And then I'll show you this update status function as well. So let's go step two, create uh, issue. And now let's try it out. Awesome, so now let's go back into our project and go back to the project. Mm, go to view all projects here, Figma Mock 2. And then here it is, subscribe to Hori's YouTube channel. Awesome. So we see that this is done. So now let me show you how to transition it to from done into like maybe in progress or something else. So let's go back into VS Code and we can go out of, these are all separate, um, you know, I showed you get users and get issues, but these are all, and I can do get recent too, but these are just for you to experiment with. And again, we're gonna be able to see our projects here, a key, uh, Figma mock, etc. So these are just for you to experiment. I show you that one, but now um, let's do let's do get transitions and let's go back and show you exactly what I mean. So this is Figma two dash one. That's the key, and you can see the status is done. And let's show you how to change that status. So Figma two dash one. I'm gonna get transitions on it. And here you can see 51 is reopen and then and then 61 is reopen and start progress. So now I had to uh, reconfigure something to sh to um, I had to reconfigure and now the key the issue is called 2-3. So again, it's in done uh, and I'll refresh it so you can see that um, it's done. But now we can go back and in our update status function, I'm just going to change this 2-3 as you saw. And if I do 61, it should update to be in progress. So let's go ahead and try that. So we'll do node app 204, which is good. And then now if we refresh it, say in progress. Okay, perfect. And um, just to quickly show another function too, if we want to actually get issues by ID, uh, we can do that. And that'll give us both the key, which is Figma 2-3, and the actual ID itself. So let's go ahead and do Figma 2-3 and we can use that information to actually uh, update the issue, whether it's the key or the ID. So we can use either, either or and I'll show you that now. So the ID is uh, 12281 um, 
and I'll get transitions on that again real quick. Uh, so 2-3 and the uh, ID is 12281. So instead of calling the key, I'll use the ID uh, and then I'll do 2 3 here. Uh, I'll call I'll node app real quick and I'll move that back to, let's say, stop progress uh, just to have a little fun with it. Um, so that's it there. I'll call update status function and then move that to stop progress. Now, if we refresh it, say it's uh, stop progress uh, to do. Um, now, the last thing that I want to show you um, is actually how to delete an issue. So delete by ID, I'm going to do two down. Delete issue by ID, and again, this is just calling this. And of course, what we do is call it delete, and then we use that issue key. So let's go and show that in action. If I refresh, it's still here. Now I'll go back, use node app.js. We see that it worked, and if I refresh, it should be no more issues. And that's pretty much it. I hope you learned a lot from this and you now know how to create issues, you know how to update them, you know how to get them by ID, and now you know how to delete them. So a full CRUD operation. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what you want to see next, uh, but I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.